When you're finding a home in Toronto, it's essential to navigate the competitive and dynamic real estate market wisely. Here's my list of top five mistakes you should avoid. I'm Sandrine Amato, and if this is your first time on this channel and you want to learn everything and what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, and play in Toronto, make sure to subscribe to this channel and click the bell so you're notified every time we post a new video. So if you're thinking about moving anywhere in Toronto or the GTA, make sure you give us a call, shoot us an email, or hit the appointment link below. Days, nights, weekends, we got your back when you're moving to Toronto. Now here are the top five mistakes to avoid. Number one, not getting pre-approved for a mortgage. Starting your home search without knowing how much you can afford or getting pre-approved for a mortgage. Why do you need to avoid this? Well, without a pre-approval, you may waste time looking at homes that are out of your budget. Or you could miss out on great opportunities that you could actually afford but didn't know it. Or face disappointment and, you know, if you can't secure financing for your desired home. Or you don't have enough time to get it all done before that dream home sells to someone else who already did their homework. So what should you do? Start your home buying journey by getting pre-approved for a mortgage. This involves working with a mortgage broker or lender to determine your borrowing capacity and interest rates, not just a general online inquiry. Once pre-approved, you'll have a clear budget to guide your home search and you'll be able to act quickly when you find the right property. Number two, neglecting neighborhood research. A mistake is when you don't thoroughly research neighborhoods before making a decision. Why do you want to avoid this? Well, each Toronto neighborhood has its own vibe, amenities, and housing market. Failing to research can lead to living in an area that doesn't match your lifestyle or investment goals. What should you do? Take the time to explore Toronto's various neighborhoods, both in person and online. Consider factors like proximity to work, schools, public transportation, safety, amenities, and future development plans. Attend local events and talk to residents to get a feel for the community before making a decision. The third one is skipping a home inspection. So skipping or rushing through a home inspection to expedite the purchase is something you want to avoid because an inspection is crucial for uncovering potential issues or costly repairs. Skipping it could lead to unexpected expenses and buyer's remorse. So what should you do? Well, you should always try to include a home inspection as a condition in your offer or get it done in advance. Ideally, the seller provides you with one, but it's not always the case. Hire a qualified home inspector who can thoroughly assess the property for any potential issues. Review that inspection report carefully, ask questions, and be prepared to negotiate repairs or pricing based on the findings. And number four, overlooking future growth and resale value. Focusing solely on the current state of the property and neighborhood without considering future growth and resale potential or historical decline is a problem. Why you want to avoid this? Well, Toronto is a growing city and neighborhoods can change over time. Ignoring potential future developments or changes in the area can impact your property's value and your long-term satisfaction. So what should you do? Well, research the city's development plans transportation projects, and zoning changes in the neighborhoods you're interested in. Consider factors like job opportunities, schools, amenities that attract future buyers. A real estate agent with local knowledge can provide valuable insights. And number five, neglecting costs. Look, none of us like to think about this, but it's super important. It's a big mistake to not factor in additional costs like property taxes, condo fees, maintenance, or renovation expenses in your budget. Why you need to avoid this is because underestimating the full cost of home ownership can strain your finances and relationships. So be sure to budget for all associated expenses to avoid financial stress down the road. What can you do? Create a comprehensive budget that includes not only the purchase price, but also property taxes, condo fees, utilities, insurance, maintenance, and potential renovation costs. Factor in a financial cushion, also known as savings, for unexpected or future expenses. Consult with your realtor, your lawyer, and financial advisor for a helpful list of expenses and tips with budgeting. 
By avoiding these common mistakes and conducting thorough research, you can make a more informed decision when finding a home in Toronto, ensuring a smoother and more satisfying real estate experience. So if you're getting ready to move in and around Toronto, please reach out to me with the information below and don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with new videos. See ya!